how to use SendGrid to send emails, email marketing software. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on SendGrid, how to use SendGrid to send emails and more. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to SendGrid.com and you will land on this platform right here. SendGrid is an email marketing and automation platform that allows you to create email marketing campaigns, create automations, newsletters, and much more. How to get started with SendGrid? Well, uh, you can create an account for free. So you just have to click on start for free. Here, you're going to enter your email address, set up a password, and you will be able to sign up. You just have to enter your information and check right here. I accept the terms. Click on create account. So once you create an account on SendGrid, it will take you right here. This is our main dashboard that we get. On SendGrid, we have a lot of different tools available and options. So we have a main dashboard that will allow me to get started. It has my overview and everything. Then we have an email API uh, that that gives me the dynamic templates and integration guide. So in templates right here, I will be able to create email templates. Then we have a marketing section. So in marketing section, we have automation, single sense, contact, custom field, sign up forms, senders, notification, and unsubscribed groups. If I scroll down a little bit, we have a design library available too uh, that allows me to design my email. And here I will be able to create templates too. Then we have our activity and settings. So we can actually get started by creating some contacts and creating a list. So what we can do is we can go to the marketing section here and click on contacts here we can create a list we can also import a list so i'm going to click on add contact and then now we can add one manually or i can upload a csv so i'm going to add a one manually so i'm going to add a contact we have to enter the information i have to enter a first name then a last name then we need to enter an email address we have to enter another alternative email if we want to we can enter an address here city province postal code and then we can select a country now we can click on add contact and this contact will be added uh, to our list so you can see a contact has been created this way i can also import a list from csv this is really important this is where we upload the file so once the contact list is created let's say now i'll be able to create email marketing campaigns so for that we can actually go to the design library here and create an email design now we can go for different editors. We have a design editor or a code one. So I'm going to go with a simple one as a complete beginner. We can go with a drag and drop. We don't need to go for coding. All right. So here we create a new email. You can see it's pretty simple. First, we're going to enter the name. I'm going to call it a test email like this. Now, these are all the settings. We're going to select the subject. So the subject, let's say it's a welcome email. So I'm just going to call it welcome. We have a pre header. Welcome to our store and then we have a category so we're gonna switch to build now these were the basic settings and now we will go to build in build we have a simple drag and drop so the first option that i want to add here is going to be some text so we're gonna drag it and drop it here and i'm gonna go ahead and add a text here i want my welcome to be in bold right here so i'm gonna enter it and we can change the font as well any font we want to, we can change the text color, we can change the text font, the size, everything. So I'm going to actually go with the theme of our store. So I'm just going to go with this color right here. There you go. Now we can also change the alignment. So uh, and set the size as well. This is 14 right now and I want it to be 24, a little uh, bigger. And then we can also change the alignment. I want it to be centered aligned. So I'm going to click on align center. So this is going to be like my first text here. Moving on, I'm going to add more fields into it. So here we have welcome. Now I want to add an image. So I'm going to drag and drop an image here and it will be added. You can see like this. Now we can add an image. We have different columns to it. So I'm going to go with this one or we can go with one column. So I will add an image here. Click on add image and it will allow you to upload from your computer. So this is the image because I have a clothing brand and I am creating an email marketing campaign for that. So I have this image. I'm going to click on insert image. And this will be added right here. This is what it looks like. I can, of course, change the size and everything. Once it's done, I'm going to add another uh, drag text here. So I'm going to drag it and drop it under my image here. So we're going to drag the text and drop it here. We can also add some dividers. So let's do that. Let's add a divider between the text and the image. 
Similarly, I can add a divider here on the top. So this divider here is actually, it's black. So I want to change the color. So I'm just going to switch here and change it to a blue color here. When it comes to the height, we can change it too. So I'm just going to keep it very light. So now we have a divider added. Similarly, I can add columns. We can add buttons. So adding a button is also really uh, easy. So I'm going to now drag and drop a button here like this and it will be added the button text so the button text should say click here like this and now we can change the button color too and i'm going to keep it blue like this so now you can see my email looks pretty good i will add a more text here uh, once it's done we can just click on save we also have the global styles here and some advanced settings available we can also add tags to it uh, so these are going to be the tags here we have and click on save and your email design will be created we can get a preview click on preview and it'll show you the email that you have you can see this is the email i can also get a mobile preview once you click on save the design will be saved now i have an email template ready to send we can click on these three dots and i can edit it out anytime or create a single send so let's do that let's send it to someone so for that, again, I can now just go to the editor and send it to someone to a contact list. We will also find our images right here. So if I go to the email API now, we also have some dynamic templates available. So these are the different templates available uh, within our um, SendGrid, the templates that we have created. So in our marketing, marketing, uh, because SendGrid is an email marketing platform, we have automations too. So automation will allow me to create an automation. Uh, we can automate our work. We can create recurring emails here. We will be able to create series email or flow emails and automate our work that will help me save time. Similarly, we have our custom fields here. We have sign up forms. So I can create a sign up form really easily within our SendGrid. So for that, just go to the sign up forms here, click on uh, create sign up form, and it's a simple drag and drop editor. Then we have senders and notifications. Then we also have again the design library. We have stats too. In stats, we have expert insights available. We have global stats available, uh, geographical stats available. So the insights section is actually pretty impressive on SendGrid. It is not just an email marketing or automation platform but it also gives you the insights that you need for your email marketing campaign or the uh, ads that you are running you can create an account on SendGrid for free and get started you will be able to design a professional email with SendGrid and send it to your customers or your subscribers so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel